Okay, I tried to use this tube and it wasn't big enough. So instead of trying to measure it again and figure out, I know all I need is a piece a little bit longer. So I will go ahead and use that piece. So I will go ahead and line this up just like that. And I'm going to give myself probably another, I'm just going to guesstimate that if I give myself another half inch is all I'm going to need, I think. So I mark it with my thumb, go ahead and get my shears, and go ahead and line it up. So I got it lined up and then I just squeeze. I didn't get it all in one. That's not the best cut there. I think it'll do though, because that piece will go to the back so you, wouldn't, you won't see it anyways. So now I got my piece cut, so let's go ahead and see if, uh, if that's going to work out better. Okay, I don't need my shears anymore. Go ahead and get my channel locks. Remember, you got to put these on first. <laughs> and believe me, I've done it before where I haven't. Okay. So there, I got my two clamps on there. Now I'm going to use some soap. Since I've not used this before, that's brand new right there. It's going to be hard to just push it down on there. See, it doesn't even want to act like it wants to go. And I don't want to put a bunch of pressure on it. So what I do is I get my soap. There's my soap, and I'm gonna just push a little bit out. That's I don't even get it all. I just get enough. Let me, let me show you what I do. Okay, there we go. What I do is I go ahead and put it on the side, just like that. Because remember, it's it's not gonna be in the flow path. You don't want to get any on the inside of it at all. And remember, you don't have to put a bunch on there. So there, that's enough. So let me go ahead and put my... Now remember, I'm going to support the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just slide it on. Look, see how easy that was to put on there? Make sure it's down all the way. It's on there, just like that. Now I'll get my tube clamp. Go ahead and just like that. So I got the bottom piece, now let's get the top piece. It's gonna be hard to see what I'm doing here, but you can get the idea. I do the same thing, get my soap. There's actually enough left on the end of it. Go ahead and put it on there. Remember, very little, you, but you do want to get it on the tip of it. Just like that. went on there really easy. There, let me see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and adjust the, uh, the tube clamp, which looks like it's going to be kind of hard to adjust. There we go. Got that on there. So now my two. Okay, I really didn't like in. how that looked a while ago. Looks like those two tubes were touching. 
So what I've done is I had some extensions on hand. If you can see those, just an extension piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screw that extension piece in there. Remember, just hand tight. Okay, I got that in there. Then I got my barb. I'm going to put that barb on there, which what it does is it allows the tube to be a little bit further out. And so I'm going to go ahead and slide it on there. Remember, I don't have to worry about soap because this tube's been used before. Look, I like that much better. If y'all can see that, see how they're not on top of each other anymore. There's a gap between them. What I'm talking about is the gap right here. That looks a lot better. They, they were crossing before and I didn't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this. I'm go ahead and put this. I think it's going to look a lot better. There we go. So there is the completed routing now.